Hello, and welcome to this evening's happy hour. Or, it's not evening yet, and I'm going to send this in an email. So, whenever you're watching it, today is happy hour. And, um, obviously, the theme is skincare. So, I figured I would show all my friends at DA what I do every morning um, to get ready for the day, ready for my Zoom meetings, ready to conquer, you know what I mean? Some self-care, some self-love, how I start my mornings. And so, um, I'm looking at it, it's all, you know, lined up next to me and I realize it's a 10 step process. So buckle up, cause <laughs> 10 steps. All right, so first thing I like to do is um, start off with depuffing my face. It was actually 11 steps because I washed my face, but after the shower, I depuff. And I go like this with a nice roller and I talk to myself and I'm like, oh, how are you doing? How's your skin? What do you look like today? And you know, I do puff and always in an upward motion because you're fighting gravity. You know, you're fighting gravity, you're fighting puffs, and this gets rid of this hurts, you know. This gets rid of all of the sleep and the alcohol from the night, you know, or lack of sleep. You know, this is rejuvenating. Mm-hmm feels good it wakes you up it's like an extra cup of coffee but it's ice and sometimes i feel like it gives me a little bit of a cheekbone no i don't know anymore it might who knows because i'm going up <laughs> so yeah it's just you know depuffing and carving out that skin and then i do like this really lightly you don't have to whack your eye just like that to get those bags no uh, you know because Everyone wants to zoom, and no one wants to zoom with a tired person. And then, yeah, you're done. You're done icing. And so after ice, I like to, before I get into, like, all the liquids and all this other, you know, the moistures and tinctures and all this other stuff, I like to put eye drops in my eye because um, it doesn't matter how, you know, refreshed or, well, you won't look refreshed, but no matter how, like, nice your skin looks, like, if your eyes are bloodshot, you're going to look crazy. So just a little... And then you lose your towel, and then oh, whoop. there you go. We can lose it. <clears throat> and there you go. All right. Now, after your eye drops, you move on to toner. And this is kind of balancing your skin. And I pick toners that um, are more moisturizing than anything else. Like, I don't really need, um, like, I don't use, like, witch hazels anymore. Because, um, I don't know. I just feel like the point is to kind of build up on moisture. And toners can kind of, like, you know, they have, like, a multifunctional purpose. They can exfoliate. They can moisturize. And, they're, and they uh, reset your pH balance. So I've read. <laughs> I'm no doctor. But, um, yeah. Like, this one is called... Moon Glow Milky Lotion, <laughs> Toning Lotion. I feel toned, I feel milky, I feel great. Um, so after that, you let that set in and you're still talking your skin. It's like, okay, all right, baby, what do you need? What do you need? And, you know, my routine, you know, switches up every day. It really depended on how I'm looking or how I'm feeling, what I did the night before, um, what's going on, is there is it? Do I feel old? Am I sad? I don't know. Like, you know, it's just, do I need to make it quick? Can, do I have time to do this? It's like all that, you know, it really depends on the day and just how you're feeling. But, you know, part of this process is just, you know, checking in with yourself and making sure you're good. Oh, so I used a serum. This is a vitamin C serum now that my toner is all dry. I always use vitamin C because, you know, it works with uh, hyperpigmentation and wrinkles and those suck so i use my vitamin c serum i'm gonna show you what it is doo, doo, doo. oops vitamin c and i only use vitamin c in the morning because uh or use a retinol at night and vitamin c and retinols don't mix well that's what i read i don't know and um yeah and i switch up my serums pretty often but i usually stick with vitamin c in the morning um okay so we let that set in and then we move on to moisturizer and the process is obviously after toner, like 
serum, lotion, oil, sunscreen. And usually like if you wanna build up, if you're using two serums or whatever, two lotions and stuff like that, you wanna make sure you're, um, you're doing it in order of thickness. So um, I'm just using one lotion today and my skin's not too dry. Um, and this one is called uh, Honey Drop by Pharmacy. I got it in Sephora. Honestly, it was the name that got me. Um, and it also has like this cute little spoon so you don't dig in with your dirty hands. Normally I would dig in, but I have a spoon. So I go like this, get me a nice spoonful. And I like lotions and stuff with honey in it because one, I think it has like a bunch of antioxidants, but also it's antibacterial, I think. It is. And um, yeah, so you don't want bacteria in your face. I don't. <laughs> And so yeah, do that also upward motion. Sometimes I forget upward motion. You know, do a little slap. It brings, you know, blood flow circulating. Wakes you up a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's great. Look, look how lively I look. Wow, that's crazy. Alright. Close you up. And for the next step, oil. And so oil comes after lotions and moisturizers because it seals in the moisture. You don't use lotion or after oil because it can't penetrate the oil. Um, this one smells like an old man. It's called um, Everyday Oil. Um, Gwyneth Paltrow told me about it. She called me and told me about it, so. I think I read about it on Goop, I can't remember. But I like it, it does stink, but it works. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells like an old person, like old cologne, old man cologne. But it works really well, it used to break me out, but it stopped, so now I forgive it and I'll use it. I also use it in my hair. Um, and on my elbows. So yeah, that's that. And so then the most important step sunscreen this one's a really good one and it's really hard for black and brown people to find a good sunscreen so this one's sheer and it also has hyalur hyaluronic acid i feel like i said it right earlier but now i said it wrong i just don't know how to say it um yeah so it's hard for um brown people to find sunscreen because it's white and that's not what we look like so Ignore the fact that it's white right now. It's going to rub in and it's going to be good. And this is SPF 40. Always use um, SPF 30 and up. I actually only, and, I, and like I don't, I try to avoid like moisturizing sunscreens. I mean, they work, but like I think the steps should be different. Like I think, yeah. mm, how do I say this? Like I think I'd rather use a, a, a strong lotion and a sunscreen and have it like as a separate step than like a two for one. Um, because some of the like the ingredients kind of mess with, this is what I've read, uh, mess with the sunscreen ingredients and it's definitely really important. Both steps are so important that I'd rather just really protect, the, protect, my, um, protect myself from the sun. That was a really jumbled way of saying it. But um, also like, you know, but I still have moisturizing um, SPFs or SPF moisturizers. I just only, I use them primarily for like a midday touch up, which I often do, or um, uh, or if I'm not leaving the house, um, I'll use that. But even every day you should be wearing sunscreen. The sun creeps through the windows and makes you old. So um, yeah, use it. And so what I like to do um, as an additive step, I think my sunscreens, I can't tell, it's rubbed in. Um, what I like to do as an added step, like my step is my, um, goal really is to look as like, dewy as possible. Like not like sweaty, but like dewy, like very healthy and like youthful. And so I use this, I actually use this as a lotion too. And it's, um, called Egyptian magic. It's really great. You can get it at, um, Urban Outfitters and it's got, it's four ingredients. It's, um, olive oil beeswax, honey, and royal jelly, and propolis, whatever. And I use it kind of as like a highlighter, honestly. Like, 
because it gives me a nice, there's like a luminance to it, if that's the word. Get that cheekbone popping. That way if like there's like a tall, cute guy above you, he's like, wow, that cheekbone is really glowy. I'm like, hey, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, just right there. And then put it on my left. Just go for my left. Can't forget that. No orange chap lips. Is there any else I need to, I'm gonna put it on my forehead too. It's hydrating. And I think like a major step that I have to do, cause I do really glob on the lotion, is I have to sit down for five minutes cause I don't wanna look all greasy and stuff when I leave the house. Um, yeah, oh, and then this is pretty much the last step. Now that I'm all oiled and moisturized up and stuff like that is um, my eye cream. I'm gonna have bag or bags regardless. So, I mean, whatever. I mean, I just, at this point I just buy it. And this one is called Caffeine Eye Cream. This is a nice little brand, inky list. I buy it when I can't afford other stuff and I need to just kind of hurry up and buy it. This is like six bucks. It's almost like the ordinary, but I like it a little bit better. Um, Cause the ordinary is a little too gunky for me. But, and the inky list stuff, I don't know. It's pretty much just straightforward ingredients. Like if you need a serum with hyaluronic acid in it, it just has one and it's like five bucks. And I think it's better than the one at the ordinary. And you can buy it at Sephora. It also has a website and everything is literally under $10 and it works really well. And I put it right here because of my smile lines. I don't really focus too hard on those. Oops. I don't try not to focus too hard on the smile lines because you're allowed to smile, but it's really just the bags that kind of get me. But I'm just gonna, I just look tired. I'm just a tired looking person. Um, I think that's it. Let's put some more chapstick on. I have this real big glug. Yep. I have a sip of water, cause duh. And that's that. Wow, it only took me 12 minutes to get ready for work. <laughs> and, oh, well, no, the, the important step of sitting down for five minutes and letting this all absorb so you don't look too fucking greasy. Ooh, didn't mean to curse. So you don't look so greasy. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, some might think it's a, a, a lot. I feel like I take longer. I went through that really fast. Um, but yeah, I think it's important to kind of like give yourself 12 minutes and 41 seconds of self-care to make sure that you look good, you know, you're on Zooms looking refreshed and dewy. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions um, about this routine or any questions about skincare, come to the happy hour. I'd be happy to answer them as best as I possibly can. And just a reminder, I'm not a doctor. And if the information was wrong, sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really uh, hope you enjoyed that and I will see you guys tonight. Bye.